Let's make sure we're coming in live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho, and welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is November 23rd, 2020, and we're doing an open discussion on relationships, the do's and don'ts of human interaction. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. And we've done a handful of these uh, in the past. They came about because of requests on our Discord. Um, and during the live streams and i think also on um, comments on youtube that uh, people wanted to do uh, sort of talk about relationships and how we develop and what they mean and what happens as we evolve and grow older and change locations change jobs change schools come out of school and you go through multiple multiple phases of cleaning house introducing new people into your life letting go of some friendships introducing new amazing friendships uh, hard times good times bad times happy times and all those times so figured we'll do uh, regular live streams on relationships and talk about what it means to be human really Aside from that, uh, while we wait for notifications to go out, uh, sometimes they take a little bit of time on both Twitch and Discord. Uh, to let you know who I am, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, Patreon is a great place to start. It's layered. There's a lot there. We've got 1,000 plus videos on YouTube, been doing this for 15 plus years. Uh, writing articles, creating content. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon from really day one when I opened up my Patreon page, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. Uh, so I very much appreciate it. And I think a lot of people do appreciate it as well from the feedback I received uh, from people over the years. So thank you. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. Elder God, how are you doing? Hope life is well. Interesting times. We are live streaming on Twitch. So if you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Gina, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? For those of you who've been here on Twitch, supporting this work, following, subscribing, using bits using points now that we got them up uh commenting liking uh and just participating in the discussion thank you very much for being here and mods thank you very much for the support ding bobber how are you doing do be kind to chicho don't be cruel or unkind to chicho <laughs> thanks ding bobber and let's say to the rest of humanity do be kind to others don't don't be cruel and unkind to others right twitch and discord sent awesome that was speedy gonzalez style i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gab and twitter when we've been Jehof. hi finally catch a stream glad to have you here <laughs> grant 03 hello hello how are you doing Think about it. By the way, Chicho, your compliment on my music this morning was super thoughtful. Oh, brother, that was a great. And I tried to like it, but it, I couldn't do it. I couldn't heart it. Uh, almost. <laughs> Did I get it? Almost. I tried. We've been a Jehov. We've been a Jehov. I do. How do you pronounce that? What's up, Chicho? Little Sticks TV. How are you doing? like the shirt thanks one of my favorite shirts one of my favorite shirts indeed uh it was private at the time it was private at the time okay i love their lyrics by the way the lyrics were fantastic the delivery was really good um and it looks like someone put a bass line on it but i didn't i was going live like two minutes beforehand i just checked it really quick i was like oh i want to i want to hear it but i couldn't hear it do i have to be kind to reset enforcers uh, uh no they are uh they they uh yes be kind to them. <laughs> be kind to them <laughs> oh Lord god unless they cross the line and you must protect your own right cho sand hello how are you doing 
it's Dutch. Hard to explain. Oh, it's Dutch. I've been to Holland. I try to get into uh, uh, watch a football game, but it never happened. It was all sold out. Olive, how are you doing? Long time no see. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, somebody sent me a baseline. Nice thing, Bobber. Starsky, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how's it going? Doing well, man. Doing well. Thank you. Lonely Piggy. Lonely Piggy. Snacks. Same question as always. More? Uh, no, we're down to our last little bit of olive, autumn olives. I had some with my cereal this morning. I've been hang, having it with cereal every morning. So I'm saving the last little bit. We've, we've gone crazy for two months now, a month and a half at least. So I'm saving the little bit. Uh, but what I got? Apples and peanut butter. Yeah. Apples and peanut butter, baby. Delicious. I like apples and peanut butter snack. It's super good. And the apples are just local apples uh, we get from our CSA. And the peanut butter is like organic, uh, like nice peanut butter. It's pretty yummy. Deck man, how are you doing? Redeem 1,000 points. Uh, <laughs> my tongue is all cut up. Gina, do support your family members when some psycho starts stalking them. Indeed, don't. Victim blame your family member and show very little support. Indeed. Indeed, Gina. Yeah, for some reason in our society, we victimize the victims. Uh, or how do, we, how do we say that? As uh, Malcolm X would say, uh, he said it regarding mainstream media, saying if you're not careful, the mainstream media will make you hate the victims and support the, uh, the oppressors, right? And our society, in some way, you've seen people, people who have been brutalized by others, and you blame them for being in that situation or dressing a certain way or saying something. Or it's very weird to me. It's very weird to me. Didn't mean to redeem those. Oh, Dekman, you didn't mean to read. I can, re I can, I can uh, uh, put them back to you. I'll go into my. Uh, up the point thing uh just send me a reminder on discord and i'll do it olive long time indeed glad to be back glad to have you back olive sean yo how are you doing do you read a lot i read some some flames 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 of war the victims are the new perpetrators fear people are overwhelmed by fear that's because they didn't keep their eyes on the prize they got lost in the noise we will be uploading this live stream to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and hello cheryl how are you doing and all the links will be in the description of this video of course gang once it's uploaded to youtube and bitshoot and this video most likely we will also upload to youtube as well uh, but it we are uploading most of the all the videos to bitshoot most of the videos to youtube and in 2000 and early 2021 we should be adding a third uh, video hosting platform at least and uh, we'll see where that goes and again all the links will be in the description of this video and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a lot of information and um taking part in discussions right uh, just to see how the world is and where we are headed and sharing music and movies and quotes and advice and whatnot okay let me take down these links chicho fear is one of the lowest vibrations only superseded by guilt and shame if i'm not mistaken really guilt and shame is more might be vice versa still a lot of people experience many negative emotions due to all this and don't know how to how to heal or promote healthy emotions yeah the first thing to do is um especially if it's coming from corporate propagandas if it's coming from centralized power that's inducing fear on you tune out of the centralized power that's one of the f initial things you should do if you hear stuff coming out of uh, i mean me included if i induce fear on you turn me off right i try not to i try to be more strategic and explain how we have come to places we have been and where we are going and stuff like this but if there's 
anyone you anything you're consuming that is like fear 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 turn that crap off right little sticks tv we're so close to 2021 doesn't even seem real to me haha <laughs> yeah crazy eh? crazy elder god i don't have any fear i'm an instrument of uh retaliation i should write that down <laughs> fear is the mind killer dune indeed fear is the mind killer fear is the mind is the fear killer ah that's a great saying awesome a fish named squish mind is the fear killer knowledge is the fear killer maybe mind is the fear killer fear is the mind killer i don't think that was in dune Ooh, even better <laughs> cheryl likes to superman is manic soul supermanic soul hi chicho long time youtube viewer first time catching a stream psyched to be here thank you for coming over to twitch to check out our stream uh if this is one of the reasons you came and thank you for being a long time youtube viewer um appreciate the love i'm glad you're liking the content uh win ben hof hof women women fear is a matter of gaining power for those inducing the fear right for those inducing the fear is a way to control you right if you're if someone's bombarding you with fear don't give them that control fear is a manner of gaining power yeah yeah all of sometimes the victims themselves turn into the bad guys indeed and at that point although it was someone else who made them that way by hurting them people are responsible for their actions and at a certain point there is no excuse i 100 percent agree with you all of people make a lot of excuses oh i was abused when i was a child that doesn't give you the right to abuse other people oh i was bullied when i was a child that doesn't give you the right to bully other people uh, people talk shit to me that doesn't give you right to talk shit to others right you have the right to defend yourself but you can't go spreading the poison right if someone dump po dumps poison on you you shouldn't go around doing the same to others if someone's filling you full of fear don't go propagating that mind is the fear killer i guess right deck man what are we talking about relationships today um any topics lined up or are we uh just going to see where it goes um usually we just see where it goes i have at times laid out things that i wouldn't mind talking about um but then every time i do that we never end up going in that direction anyway so i want to be more malleable more flow whatever people want to talk about we can talk about in general uh for me in regards to relationships uh, what i try to do is get the most i can out of all my relationship may they be intimate may they be friendship may they be um, business related uh, school may it be student uh, teacher relationship whatever it is as long as i'm learning and we're growing in that relationship it's beautiful when a relationship for me becomes stagnant and stagnant is not necessarily bad it's a comfort place you go to and you're familiar with it and stuff like that but stagnant waters are you don't want to be too stagnant in your life you want to keep the flow going right the only as the saying says the only absolute absolute in life is change that is the calculus of existence really so it's good to embrace that right thing about where chicho obey out of fear and we will create order out of the chaos we created in the first place sincerely the elites yeah and by the way relationships is not just about relationships between human and human is your relationship with institutions is your relationship with your surroundings is your relationship with nature is your relationship with your government is your relationship with communities right all of that chichonians the sleeper has wakened <laughs> thing bobber when victim becomes a victimizer the cycle continues yeah we have to end that we have to end that right what do i do after a breakup brother matthew mourn if it was a uh, if it was um initially as a mourning period uh isolationism to a certain degree um 
you you're gonna have regrets you're gonna have this you're gonna have that embrace that embrace those feelings but then don't hold on to them let them go let them flow through you and just think about the positive aspects of that relationship and who you were when you started that relationship and who you are after that relationship hopefully it is positive right if it's negative ask yourself why it was negative right but for me uh, i try to think about any relationship maybe intimate or not right as sharing our knowledge our experiences so i try to learn something from all my relationships and i have in the past and it's beautiful right and there is sadness when certain relationships uh break up right uh, i've mourned uh, losses of partners uh, i've you know if you haven't had your heart broken you haven't loved uh if you've had your heart broken be grateful because you have loved right uh, and time it just takes time matthew really and it's sometimes very painful man very painful to break the cycle of insanity and abuse thing bobber says and come home to love in the heart is a noble thing to aspire to in my opinion yeah deck man matthew advice to deck man uh, advice to matthew from deck man i know everyone already always says this but focus on yourself man get active eat good food be creative doing things that are good for you will make you feel better yeah agreed with deck man 100 and uh, appreciate that if you anybody's going through a breakup appreciate that this is just a a, a, a moment in your life right time heals all it really does it it dulls the pain right and introduces new loves and new passions into your life let time play out what you're feeling right now is not going to be what you're feeling five years from now ten years from now even a week from now or a month from now or a year from now embrace those feelings by the way appreciate the intensity of those feelings there are people that never never have that intensity uh, that's sad right benjamin clement quote quote what is about relationships that we just don't get what is it about relationships that we just don't get i don't know what is it <laughs> have a date with a drink ah elder god's advice break covid regulations have a date with a stranger <laughs> free assange free assange free assange hello from the home office chicho cool leo how are you doing i heard you were working out at home fantastic no driving nowhere ding bobber i've heard of people lowering uh lowering a mask to drag a cigarette then lifting the mask back up <laughs> like i don't know it just seems silly weird right well maybe they blow the smoke out of their nose but then you have to cover the nose anyway i don't know weird island king divinity how are you doing chicho hey chicho it's been a while finally able to catch one of your streams awesome glad to have you island king welcome welcome olive making friends is difficult for me find it hard to figure out what to talk about to new people in my life ex uh, except when i'm drunk then i'm very talkative but i can't go around and drink all the time no any advice for someone who is quite shy olive you don't necessarily have to be talking when you're with someone right quiet time is good being just in the presence of someone that you like is a good feeling right so if they're new sure you need to break the ice a little bit talk about um you know just to see who they are and whatnot right you can talk about music movies food food is huge right uh, if they're not into food and you're not into food then music uh, movies entertainment books um, you know what they like to do as pastime go for a walk one of the things i've done in my life when i'm meeting new people like really this sounds i don't know if it sounds weird or not um, but for me i go on walks with people right if i if if we're if we're meeting new i say hey listen i'm gonna go for a walk want to come along <laughs> sometimes people think i'm gonna go for a half an hour walk i've gone on walks with people brand new right that i've 
sometimes we only had met once maybe because we went on such a long walk they're like that guy's crazy i'm going out with that guy again <laughs> but there's been times where i met new people and we've gone on a walk like for four hours just walking beside each other through neighborhoods through the city and just talking right pointing out oh that's a beautiful house because you're in motion so you come across things that you you see that are interesting so you can talk about them right people watching is amazing as well so those are some of the things i do uh, and all of i feel you i i've known people that are very shy that don't uh, don't talk very much i've seldom been that way you know i'm generally very outgoing and either even though i'm an introvert i do put out as well it is exhausting for me when i interact with people after after huge gatherings i need time alone i it was too much energy around me personally um but and and keep in mind my initial statement holds you don't need to constantly be talking about small things right chitter chatter you can just be with someone and during a walk you don't have to talk during a walk you can just walk and appreciate things may it be in the forest and nature i personally i love nature like trails and stuff like that but being a geophysicist i've been in nature a lot for me that is the jungle and i also consider the city to be a jungle so i really appreciate walking around the city there's a lot more to talk about a fish named squish let time play out is a great advice you may not make good decisions when you are feeling raw upset indeed indeed coolio olive uh advice from coolio olive i'd recommend getting involved in discord communities for the time being it's a lot easier and there's a number of communities for every interest and hobby i started a discord book club on one server i'm on awesome coolio olive then you can perhaps meet up some people uh from those communities in person if they live near you think bobber the emotional body gets cut open when you break ties with someone who you let influence your emotions in the first place i quote let because it's not like we choose who we love it just happens i disagree with that statement suddenly all the positive emotional situation uh, stimulation is gone that part i agree with but i disagree that um i quote that because we we uh it's not like we choose who we love i disagree with that we can choose who we love right that happens sometimes that we end up loving people out of sheer circumstances right all of a sudden you love this person either intimately or you really really like them you want to be around them right but you can choose to fall in love with someone as well start really looking in depthly into them and appreciate the little nuances that they have and get as you get to know them more and more you fall in love with them more and more right have, have you guys ever had someone where you're you know you might have liked the person right and then as you get to know them you start liking them more and more and more right that's falling in love with someone and is your choosing really right that's my opinion uh, squish to olive be genuinely interested in people and ask them question about themselves yeah and that indeed for sure get to know them right like quitting oxycontin cold turkey thing bobbert says it could be it could be i don't know i've never been on oxycontin and i don't plan on being on it uh, but sometimes when you're with someone for a long time and they're gone the void in your life is insanely painful it drags you down a lot right uh the breathing is important breathe spend time uh i think it was squish that says spend time get to know yourself more right it takes time it takes time deck man to all of i agree with uh squish if people think that you are interested in them that will make them interested in you 
perfect. Coolio, Chicho, in Albania, every night at around 6 p.m., everyone steps out of their house and goes for a walk to talk to their neighbors, really. I don't know if COVID changed that, though things are largely back to normal for them, last I heard. But it's one thing I'm really looking forward to. That's fantastic, Coolio. That's super cool. Uh, Ding Bobber, advice. Use this as an opportunity to heal those shadow emotions that are not popping up for you. Not bad. Walking for four hours, that's at least 10 miles. Yeah, I've gone, man, one time I won't want to walk on a first date with someone, and it was the only date with this person. Uh, we just met online, we went for a walk. We went for an eight hour walk. <laughs> just talked, it, it just happened that we needed to cross paths for what, that one day, and we went for a gigantic walk, and that was it. Right, and talked about, I don't know, everything and anything. Uh, she was uh, having certain um anyway it was interesting olive to squish that's the thing i'm more of a listener but a, but at a certain point people want you to say something and i just find it hard um you know what olive just be straightforward with them ask them what they would like to know about you like directly ask them what would you like to know you know ask ask them if they you know they want to know what your favorite movie is you will you'll tell them music what you love to eat some of the good you've done some of the bad you've done some of the painful stuff you've done you wish you didn't do all right don't share that <laughs> don't share that with people you've met new sometimes don't share that with anyone ever again right bury that deep and let it go <laughs> sort of <laughs> cheryl while on the road for a survey with a young colleague last week she apologized for not talking very much i felt badly because i wasn't talking either the mutual apology sparked a great discussion about the benefits of um a companionable com companion companion silence people rush to fill fill a sound void especially when you don't know people well yeah i'm with cheryl and that's the saying that goes uh you know there i've read this quote somewhere uh, what's music right and people give different definitions it's a way to speak to the spirit and stuff like this but music I've heard one person say, I can't, even, I, I can't even attribute this to anyone because I don't know who it was. They said music is the silence between the notes, right? So music is the silence between the notes. Conversation is the silence or being with someone is a silence between the conversation or something, right? Uh, silence is powerful. Thanks. I'll give it a try, all of Sister Coolio. Cheryl, but when both or all are aware that it's okay if it's comfortable it can be amazing just being aware and of and enjoying their presence can be huge and helpful yeah i'm 100 with cheryl on this right cheryl i actually find it flat flattering when someone is comfortable in silence around me i used to be a sound void filler myself though admittedly oh yeah coolio i've been around people like you it can be very noisy <laughs> Deckman to Olive, it's an old trick, but ask the other person a question you like them to ask you. If there's a topic you're genuinely comfortable talking about with anyone, ask them a leading question about the topic, and they might finish with something like, what about you? And then you have set yourself up for a comfortable topic. Ah, great advice, Deckman. And by the way, Olive, you mentioned drinking. You become more talkative when you're drinking. Uh, reduce your drinking become more comfortable in your shell when you're not drinking when you're around other people and f like seriously it's very difficult to do all of like i've gone through it myself right very difficult to be around people that are drinking and you're not drinking and but try it out it, it it'll it'll, ch it, it'll challenge you okay Ding Baba Chicho. I suppose that's true. I was mostly quoting Jamie Lannister, haha, from Game of Thrones in my haha. Awesome. 
I'm capable of Elegon. I'm capable of talking to complete strangers right off the bat. You just need an icebreaker for some people, yeah. Matthew, it really was a phenomenal breakup. We're both students, and she has a lot of trouble, troubles, and it became too difficult for us this year. I think that's why it sucks so much. Previously, I'd fallen out of love big time before the end, but this time I didn't. Uh, it just is not the right time for us yeah matthew i feel you i've been in those relationships it just wasn't the right time it just wasn't the right time and there's nothing you can do about it right maybe your past will cross again okay like my partner right now the first time we met each other was 20 years ago we didn't get together until nine years ago okay Ooh. Dingwa or chicho, I meant oxycontin, which is the cuddle, cuddle brain chemical, or the love chemical. Oh, toxin, oxytoxin, is that what it is? Ting, how are you doing? Long time no see, man. Oh, hi, chicho, how's it going? Doing good, Ting. Hope you're doing well and staying safe, brother. Elder God, I have a void right now. I've recently lost my greatest love. The cider keeps texting me, you know. <laughs> sure. 100% Coolio. That said, uh, the struggle not to fill silence in text, whether in chat, Discord, elsewhere, more than in real life out loud. It's such a weird contrast for me. I think it's hard to have the same presence as you would out in the world. I get depressed when studying what to do about it um find things that you love studying it, listen to music while you're studying uh, go to an amazing place to study like if you're studying something and you're finding it depressing sitting on a on a table chair uh, not on a table but on a on a table and chair uh, sitting on a chair working on a table but uh, working on a table if you're in a room go to the beach and study there um gtex 2k i have a playlist on my youtube channel called how to study okay it's some of the tricks i've used in my life or some of the tools i use in my life to learn new things right take a look at that playlist there's a whole bunch of videos on there one of the videos talks about spe specifically what i just mentioned find your happy space if you get depressed studying in one location go somewhere else in nature maybe and study there go to a cafe and sit down at a cafe and study your work there you won't be as efficient but the depression the the association of a bad feeling to the steadying will slowly go away so what you want to do is introduce train yourself program yourself to associate whatever it is you're studying with being in an in a in a place you want to be in a happy location doing a happy thing and slowly what you're going to find out is you can start studying that thing that you're studying while you're at home while you're sitting on a table where you're sitting in a on a chair on a table studying right so you want to start associating love with studying i know it sounds weird but it works right i created a lot of content a lot of the math videos that you see every i laid a lot of that stuff out at the beach at the park and cafes in restaurants at bars right coolio chicho i may have mentioned on walks as well uh, i may have mentioned this previously but i once did a 30-day challenge when i talked to strangers every single day for 30 days wow if i skipped a single day i'd start over from day one. Oh my god i kept the journal of my interactions and had to start over two times but i did accomplish it and it has basically permanently cured me uh, cured my old fear of approaching people very cool coolio i've never heard about this 
How far behind chat am I? Gang, I'm going to scroll down. Apologies if I'm going to miss stuff. Um, and I'm going to look at stuff that says Chicho on it right now. That way I can get caught up with chat. I don't want to fall too far behind. Tink, Chicho, what's your thoughts on falling in love with people? Do you think it's only built up over time? Or perhaps when you get to know the right person? I'm not feeling a spark with my girlfriend of six months and feel guilty about it not being there uh, i think it can happen both ways you can fall in love with someone right off the get-go or you might have to spend time with someone for a long time for a while to fall in love with them and that builds right hopefully it builds anyway uh six months is a while if you've been with someone i don't know how you know how often you guys meet some people say oh we've, i've been seeing someone and they only meet once a week so that's the same you know if 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 you're if you say you have a girlfriend or boyfriend right or a partner that you only meet once a week and you've been dating for a year right that means you've been dating for 52 days right and then you meet someone that says oh i've been with someone for two months and they meet every day they spend every day together that's the same intensity of a relationship as a full year uh, sort of right because you could be texting and messaging but for me uh, when it comes to relationships i like to i don't like to uh, i like to spend a lot of time initially together um, and later on as well probably if i like them but initially together that way you optimize the amount of time you're spending with someone to see if you will like them here you will fall in love with them you will like their the way they move right so i'm not sure how long six months is for you if you see them every day if you're living together then that's a long time to be with someone without feeling that powerful love right um so i you know that's that's all i can say if i you know we don't know anything else other people might have other advice uh squish as chicho said though some people are more introverted and social interactions can be draining society tends to prize extroverted characteristics which can make introverts feel deficient but one is not better than the other there's nothing wrong with not always wanting to interact with other people yeah and that's what squish said everyone listen to what squish said right like i can honestly tell you i i may seem fairly social to everyone and i am right but there are times where i don't interact aside from students even in the summertime if I, I am very very happy not talking with anyone for two weeks <laughs> really i i'm totally okay with it um so you can be both just balance yourself out all of i've never found silence awkward some people even start humming it's kind of funny yeah and humming is okay humming is vibrations all of humming is mm, humming is amazing right i should do i used to do it a lot uh i haven't done humming uh, for a while and there are certain times where uh, i do meditation i would hum vibrate try to get my chest um, get the tummy to vibrate a certain way and that vibration is amazing healing right so humming is a good thing uh, i don't know if i want to be around someone that hums all the time <laughs> it'd be a little crazy right but uh, the humming is not bad Amen, not Nightbot. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, right? Lonely Piggy, Chicho, I've recently gone through a breakup myself. I did not feel sadness or regret uh, because I had it in mind for a while. I always had to be careful of what I said, what I did. Uh, can never have feelings of my own or opinions during um, argumentative discussions. After a while, feeling like you have no voice or that feelings don't matter at all it takes a toll it was the best thing for me to end it turn the page and move forward instead of being perpetually stalled lonely piggy good on you and gang if you're in a relationship where you constantly feel like you're walking around eggshells 
who are walking on eggshells, very careful. That's not a healthy relationship, right? That's not a healthy relationship. Uh, you shouldn't feel like you're walking on eggshells when you're with someone intimate or with a friend. I've had friends where, man, it's constantly, if you, you're, you're afraid that if you say the right thing, they're going to explode, right? Maybe I'm guilty of it myself too. I know in regards to politics, if someone says, you know, if someone turns to me and says, oh, Julian Assange is a bad guy, I'll flip out. <laughs> I'll rip them a new a-hole, right? And there are people that I've interacted with that that has happened, and they don't interact with me very much anymore. And I'm totally okay with it, right? And that goes for you. If you feel like you're walking on eggshells on something important that you think you're aware of, because to them it might be, they might think they're delusional. They might think that they have the right perspective on what's going on. I think they're insane. They're they're dum dums, but <laughs> that's my opinion, right? But if you feel like that's happening to you, then uh, it's not a healthy relationship, or you are completely mistaken. Sit on a table and work on a chair, will you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Greetings, blessings, Doctor P. How are you doing? The quote also made me think of John Cage's. I don't know that. Da, 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 da. I'm scrolling down, gang, to see if there's anything directed towards me. Eliza might be as well. Okay, gang, I came all the way down just to catch up. Uh, and to have an apple and peanut butter. Look at this goodness. Very nice, very nice. Cheers. Squish says, what if you're walking around eggshells around your boss? Call in sick. <laughs> might, be, might be time to change jobs. And don't, by the way, right now, as long as you're, if you're not financially secure and you don't have another job lined up. Padre, 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 how are you doing? As, well as, as far as the introvert thing goes, I feel like there are a lot of us out there that I can only explain as a left hang, a left handers living in a right handed world. So the world is more extroverted, just like being left handed. You will have to adjust to the world, but don't let the stamp, let that stamp out who you are and what makes you special. South paws are beautiful, man. They shake things up. They do indeed, Padre. And if I remember my boxing uh, stats well, there's a lot of southpaws that do extremely well in um, boxing because people are not ready for it. Who was the most famous uh, southpaw? I can't remember. He was a heavyweight champion, I believe. Me and my ex, G4F, me and my my ex agreed to distance ourselves because we kept getting into fights. So after three weeks, she called and I didn't pick up or call back until a month afterwards. And this time she didn't answer or call back. It's been a month. Should I call her? I really missed her. Yeah, if you miss her, give her a call for sure. Uh, G4F. For sure, give her a call. Right? But be prepared. She might have moved on right uh put it towards lesson learned if your girlfriend that you're taking a little bit separation apart calls and you don't answer give her a call back in a couple of hours just say you were busy not a month later <laughs> that's a long time <laughs> calling dead Every day, yeah. If you're squishing a wall, every day, no. If you're if you're walking on eggshells around your boss every day, mm, something has to be resolved around that. That's not a healthy situation. Colin dead. <laughs> Autobot seven ten says, "Did you make that peanut butter?" No, I didn't make the peanut butter. Hazardous. 
HDTV. How are you doing, by the way? I didn't. It's really good peanut butter, though, like organic peanut butter and stuff like that. It's nice. Felix, how are you doing? Felix, not sure if you caught my message. I didn't when you were scrolling, but hey, what's up, Chicho? And everyone in chat, hello, Felix, how are you doing? No, I didn't catch it because I, I was just looking for stuff that said Chicho Live uh, just to get caught up, right? And welcome to another live stream. Glad to have you here. Bipster. Hey, Chicho, I'm at work and I just listened to the audio. The problem with uh, the problem with the uh, with the other people is that I'm really independent and I don't really need people in my life also there there are a lot of people who are gonna hurt you and I rather be alone my spiritual animal is a spider so I feel good alone okay but don't don't uh, don't uh, isolate yourself because you're worried about being hurt right with hurt also comes love the only reason you would get hurt is because you cared and caring is not a bad thing right so if you're if you're isolating yourself because uh, out of fear of being hurt mm, that's not as healthy as isolating yourself because you're very comfortable being alone and you don't want to interact with anyone not too many people anyway uh, but we we do need others to bounce off ideas and whatnot and this is fine you coming on chat and you can just interact with us and chat while you you're isolated in your own space which is totally okay as well uh for me i'm not one of the one of the people that says you have to interact with other people absolutely not if you are okay in your shell in your life just living a solo life kudos to you power to you just make sure you're not doing it out of fear you're doing it out of love because you love being alone okay <clears throat> Padre Rocky was Rocky left handed? Left paw? I forget. I'm scrolling, scrolling. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. When it comes to relationships, Felix says, for me, my problem is overthinking. I think pretty fast, which is good for some some things. I do like math and chess. But when it comes to relationships, both platonic and romantic, it can be a problem. Uh, Felix, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, learn to slow yourself down. Don't, and you don't need to slow yourself down in everything you do. Slow yourself down in certain things that you want to savor, right? So for example, if you go out to a restaurant and you order an amazing dish, or you cook for yourself you order amazing food right just because you think fast it doesn't mean you should go couple 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 eat it speedy gonzalez style right you savor the food when you have an amazing wine you smell it and you sip it right that's fantastic don't chug it down there are certain things you should train yourself to savor eating should be one of them but usually sometimes you're in a rush you want to wolf it down because you need the energy right relationships too if you enjoy being around someone you don't need to make that interaction rapid just breathe enjoy the silence right Olive. but i guess it depends on the length of the book oh yeah this is the book club talk felix there's a girl in a math class i have tomorrow that i like but because of covid precautions in class I'm not sure how to approach her. Write her a note. Hi. Thought I write you a note because of COVID preca uh, precautions. Uh, instead of coming too close to you because I don't want to get into your space. But I think you're pretty cool. Would you like to talk? <laughs> she will love it. Well, or she will go, what, what a creep. <laughs> You're on your own on that one, Felix. <laughs> Take Chicho's advice with a gigantic grain of salt. <laughs> Padre, yeah, love, love. that's why Apollo's trainers didn't want him to fight him. Too much of a wild card. Oh, really? Is that why? 
in the movie and rocky richie shed hi chicho my name's richie and my spirit animal is my refrigerator during covid <laughs> i've gained it <laughs> gained it in weight is that okay i have gained about 30 pounds oh 30 pounds a lot pounds in six months and i am stress eating any advice for, uh, for me to go uh dude I, I feel you i did go through a period in my life where i did exactly what you did stress eat and i was about 40 pounds heavier than what i am now right difficult to break okay easy to get into my advice is it's it's really it's difficult to break but when you feel like eating drink a big glass of water sometimes the the sensation of hunger you get the sensation of hunger because you're thirsty you need water drink a big glass of water the second second thing you need to do is don't eat late at night don't eat late at night okay that'll knock if you don't if, if right now if you're eating late at night stacking late at night cut that out that'll that should reduce at least five to ten pounds on your weight right drink glasses of water start doing exercise start doing exercise the other thing if you're gonna eat eat healthy food right like seriously like people don't emphasize this enough crazy healthy food has more nutrients that your body can use to fill that void the hunger that you're feeling if you're eating garbage food food that's got a full of calories full of sugar full of salt whatever it might be your body doesn't recognize that as food as chemicals right so your hunger doesn't reduce you are still hungry after eating this right healthy food huge 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 so if your fridge if you open up your fridge right now it's full of pop and cake and pizza you bought from somewhere throw that crap away put fruits vegetables uh if you're a meat eater meat that you can eat that you can cook yourself that you bought at a butcher right not processed sausages and stuff like this right fill your fridge full of good healthy food fruits and vegetables and herbs and slowly do that it's gonna take you time and exercise is huge cheryl chronic overthinker club present present felix welcome to the club <laughs> harold i've been a member for quite some time felix says the tiger bud how are you doing doing well man thank you very much mg miss mag solo <laughs> that's the way i'm gonna pronounce it that was beautiful chicho to many of us including myself live in fear when it comes to social relationship situations and we convince ourselves that everything is fine when it when in the back of our mind we know what we know we want to conquer that fear the day we conquer this fear is the day we can truly be happy with ourselves baby steps are okay as long as we improve we do not have to be perfect yeah well said brother or sister of course right super spreader <laughs> God. just got to whisper that i'm the exact opposite if i'm stressed i can barely eat oh really deck man that's not good either by the way that's not healthy right felix chicho maybe i'll try uh writing a note worst that can happen is rejection and the short-term pain of rejection is better than the long-term pain of regretting not trying i suppose why not but please i hope it works out i'm all nervous now i'm nervous <laughs> rich intermittent fasting can be helpful yeah intermittent fasting is good too don't eat between 7 p.m and 11 a.m good it prevents you from eating late at night provides clear rules and gives you some a license to eat what you want during the rest of the time although as chicho said healthy food is good healthy food is good and for me i'm okay with not eating after 7 30 p.m right 
Uh, but because I wake up early, I wouldn't wait until 11 a.m. to eat. I would eat earlier. Right? The tiger butt. Glad to hear that, Chicho. I hope you're doing well. As well. I'm good, thank you. Ah, there you go. Good, good, good. Welcome to another live stream. Question. How to bag a rich guy? <laughs> Petite fem fem alive? Uh, become rich yourself. And it depends what you mean with rich. What's your definition of rich? Rich in humor? Rich, rich in social relationships? Rich in knowledge? Rich in experience? I don't know. Rich in apples and peanut butter? I got a lot, a lot of apples and peanut butter. I'm very rich. Felix, what's your thoughts on the no fab movement, Chicho? Do you think it's beneficial or pseudoscience? I don't know what the no fab movement is. Felix, what's a no fab movement? Richie was a short guy standing on his wallet <laughs> would make him six foot, six foot, six foot three. Really, man, you could you could you could just fill it full of dollars. No fab means stop touching your willy. Oh, is that what it means? What the hell? That's part of life. No fab has given me so many <laughs> no <laughs> coolio oh geez i'd be shocked if chicho knew what that what, <laughs> what even was i don't know <laughs> not that i knew the movement existed rich in rich in comic books i'm rich in comic books not as rich as some though <laughs> but if i stood on my comic books i'd be really tall no fans st stop touching your willy why would you it's part of your body. Do you touch your ear? Is there a no ear? <laughs> no ear thing? Does this make you feel good? Yeah, you know what? It's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Why would you stop doing something that feels good? Right? That being said, there is a certain amount of chi in your life, right? So be careful. What did all the gods say? I tried that. Only got <laughs> hilarious. By the way, petite uh, femme, your comment got blocked. They picked it out. Auto mod, okay. I guess auto mod doesn't like mofo. Just a way to practice stoicism, uh, Padre says. Felix, no fab is a movement that believes in abstaining from masturbation, more specifically pornography. I personally think that porn is pretty damaging to a lot of areas of the psyche. It could be, sure. It's, it's like any addiction. If you're addicted to something, uh, kill your addiction, stop your addiction. Everything in moderation, yeah. Or extremism in moderation. That's my philosophy anyway. Extremism and moderation. Yeah, the abstaining from pornography part probably has some benefits. Probably, yeah. If you're addicted to porn, yeah, stop that. It's like being addicted to anything. Stop it. All right? Deckman, I totally agree. Porn is so bad for your brain. It's like any other addiction. But, but Deckman, it really depends on what type of porn. Have you guys watched some 70s porn? Pretty damn cool. Right? Not that I'm promoting it, as Bill Hicks would say, but I'm not denying it. Uh, there's some amazing movies that I've seen that some people would consider porn, especially back when they were made. Right now, they would just be risque, right? Oh, risque movies that were considered hardcore porn back in the day, right? Or porn back in the day, which are pretty damn cool. I agree with. Pornhub and all that jazz to a certain degree, right? Because all of that is centralized control, and what you're seeing 
is programming, right? So it really depends. Look, number one rule, don't get your information from centralized institutions. If you find that what you know in life, who you interact in life, how you feel about life, all of it has been programmed into your psyche from centralized authority, you need to reprogram yourself, right? It's like social media. If you only go to, if you only get your news from Facebook, you're a dumb dumb. If you only go to Reddit to get information, you're a dumb dumb, right? So if you only get sexual pleasure from going to a porn site, you're a dumb dumb. It's simple as that. Dragons, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, loving the recent content. Been watching a few days after dur uh, during downtime. Awesome, awesome dragons. I, I'm going to release the cooking one today after this stream. Uh, so I've lined up the lined up the next few to release. And the current events that we did is definitely not going to go on you, uh, YouTube, right? It'll only be on BitChute. So if you like the current event stuff, you have to watch it on BitChute, okay? Or watch it within two weeks on Twitch before they take it off. Poor defender. Socrates said, you're only supposed to have sex once with your wife in 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 by your whole lifetime. Socrates was a little confused. <laughs> Coolio. Well, battling addiction is a lot more complex than stop it. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, agreed. You know, I'm, I'm simplifying the matter a little bit, right? But I can honestly tell you, I've been addicted to things, right? And I've been able to break those addictions and they were difficult, right? But the more addictions you break, the easier it becomes for you to break your addictions, right? So stop it. <laughs> Kebabs, sorry, Chicho. I got rid of all my other addictions, but porn is there to stay for me. Well, if it's there to stay for you right now, then and, and you know it's an addiction, then so be it right it is what it is that's fine right but make sure it doesn't stay with you for your whole life move on there's better addictions out there or other addictions out there that might give you just as much pleasure right that might be less destructive right it's better to love one woman a thousand ways than love thousand women once Someone should tell that to, uh, uh, what's his name? The lead singer of Kiss, Richard Simmons. No, Richard, is Richard Simmons? I forget his name. He was surrounded by Greeks who had sex constantly. Yeah, I guess he was turned off. He was surrounded in pornography. He lived in the porn world. Caligula for the next movie club. Haha, -ha, dragons. I've seen Caligula. It was interesting. Felix Chicho, I think that porn uh, desensitizes you to a certain extent. That I agree with. I've personally experienced it myself, and that's when I realized there was a problem and decided to quit. Awesome. Good on you, Felix. And I agree with you. It can desensitize you for sure. But if, if it's something you want to participate in, I, I, for me, I have, I'm an anti-prohibitionist. People, adults, should be allowed to experience life how they want. If people want to have sex in certain ways, they have the right to have sex in a certain ways or watch certain sex, for sure. But understand that you are being programmed, especially if that is coming from a centralized institution. If you're watching Hollywood, let's say Hollywood porn, they're programming you. There's a dictated hand. If you only watch Hollywood movies, you're being programmed right you have to expand outside of hollywood to really appreciate what theater really is right watch korean movies watch japanese movies watch chinese movies watch persian movies my god amazing right there's a persian movie um 
oh my god i'm gonna amazing right watch arabic movies watch french movies watch british movies watch german movies watch european watch russian movies right watch african movies i haven't seen too many but there has been some right if you only if you're in your life you've only watched movies coming out of hollywood man you got a lot of living to do you you got a lot of living to do right gang i'm scrolling down to see if there's anything cheryl um one of the keys with porn is understanding the potential disconnect between the appearance of the bodies or display of those you encounter in real life not being constantly disappointed that most men and women do not meet up to porn standards in appearance and likely in action yeah agreed and to tell you the truth you really don't want uh your sex life to be only the action you see in porn right like a lot of people that w read glamour magazines and stuff like that if you think that is how human beings should be you got a lot of growing up to do right kebab porn gives me ideas to try with my girlfriend good on you awesome okay i'll stop now <laughs> are you persian uh armenian persian canadian what i've realized about life is that as long as you don't hurt anybody you should essentially be able to just do what you want deck man 100 i'm with deck man all the way all of chicho what exactly are they um programming uh you to it really depends on the on the type of porn first of all is disconnect uh they're eliminating intimacy on large part a lot of pornography the 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 love is not there it's more of the physical than the sensual right there are sensual porn out there right there is uh, but you have to really it's a small percentage and you have to really dig for it right so there, there's a lot in it all of but some people just want to do want, want the physical uh, satisfaction so be it right yeah cheryl says to kebabs watch together she might get some ideas as well yeah and uh kebabs don't be afraid if she wants to try certain things out and you might be like wait a minute if it gives her pleasure right why not elder god porn for me was a technical manual mm. very much but in my time there was not real internet uh thanks big h big h big h what's the big h big fan of korean filming yeah filmmaking korean filmmaking is powerful snake snake i do it yourself a competent judge would have a wide variety of experiences yeah hello crafter how are you doing i got no time for relationships you got no time relationships oh you for sure you must have relationships you have work relationships you have family relationships you mean intimate relationships question the simp loves me should i marry him i don't know what a simp is streaming he found out i stream and he simps to me now i don't I have no idea what simps is cheryl to kebabs but if she's never watched or says she hasn't haha -ha, choose carefully or it may backfire ah indeed indeed and the other the other thing is you could ask her have you watched porn is there a certain porn you would like to see have you watched people being intimate or being very physically active together punisher max live hello hello in your honest opinion if you break up with someone would you get back together with them later in life is it possible it is possible i haven't okay for me i've never broken up with someone uh no 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 not true i was i was with someone where she left the city she went to the other side of the country and we broke off for the period that she wasn't there 
she wasn't here and when she came back we got back together but we've never broken up and then gotten back together so i've never done it but it is possible i know people who have and sometimes it is much more powerful big h hugh hefner ha <laughs> elder god big h is hugh hefner <laughs> Playboy, man, I kick. I'm kicking myself still from back in the '90s when I had the opportunity to buy a complete Playboy run for five hundred dollars. It was less than a thousand, and I didn't go for it. Some guy had an ad in the paper and classified. He was selling his Playboy collect collection, and I didn't buy it. I can't believe it. Oh my god! Oh, every time I think about it, I kick myself. Like. Let's say it was a thousand dollars, the complete Playboy run. Playboy number one right now sells in good condition, it sells for like thousands. Man, not that I would sell it, but it's good to have. Basically, it's a guy who treats a woman like a goddess too much. Oh, is that what it is? That's what a simp is? He becomes a curf. I don't know what a curf is. <laughs> so, if you treat someone like a goddess, so you want to be. Uh, you want your partner to be a dom to a certain degree yes i just generally don't like sex anymore then that's okay defender if you don't like sex you don't like sex i guess i still like romance though romance is fantastic crafter well it was kind of a joke but with online classes i've got a lot less meaningful interactions yeah in crafter you're not alone a lot of people do right like seriously just imagine being single uh, which i'm not just imagine being single and trying to hook up with someone very difficult right now right and that's stressful so don't be too hard squish you can definitely suffer from sunk cost fallacy in human relationships where it's not healthy working um, working but you feel because you have invested so much time getting to know the person you don't want to start over even though that's the right call getting out and get, getting out of an unhealthy 10-year relationship was very hard to overcome the inertia yeah wow 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 for me uh, i've never been there squish uh, whenever i've been in a relationship so when it's gotten stagnant where i we didn't enjoy it we usually ended it um and I've, but I've known people where they're in, in a relationship where it's totally destructive and they st stick with it. Uh, and, and sort of a clarification here some people stay in those relationships because they can't afford to break up, right? The cost of breakup is a lot, by the way, gang. If people are living from paycheck to paycheck, if you live in a place together with someone and you know you're paying rent you're doing all this stuff and whatnot you don't have enough funds to move out right um uh, it could be a difficult trap and there are a lot of people in these types of relationships that unfortunately uh, because of the lockdowns and stuff like this they're they're going through some serious hard times right so we have to keep that in mind that collection would have gone for so much these days i know deck man like a f full playboy run up to the 1990s for a thousand dollars right now probably would have sold for like 30 grand i don't know what it would have sold for i'm kicking myself man my aunt has like 40 plus years worth of playboys oof, oof, hot butt. take care of them make sure she knows what they're worth some people dump their collections without knowing what they're worth right yeah look god i might have a few copies hanging around whatever doesn't make you money don't do it haha <laughs> simp is a gimp but watered down for today's youth is that what it is elder god a kef is like a voluntary slave like how monks are to uh monasteries okay so basically uh being in a relationship with the dom which is fine if you want to be that's okay I don't agree with that kebabs you have to make time for yourself outside of the rat race that i agree with coolio 
Are monks slaves to monasteries? Never mind. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't call them slaves, but they've taken certain vows, right? There are people who take vow of silence. Apple and peanut butter. Delicious goodness. Oh, almost got it focusing. Difficult. A loveless partnership, that's tough. Indeed. Padre says, yeah, I got dumped by my boyfriend of two years. I suffered a lot from psychological abuse. I did a witch love spell, wishing for a simp. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it indeed. Simple week after the breakup. Hmm. Olive Chicho, what's the topic for your next stream? Uh, the next one is on Wednesday. We're talking about privacy censorship, privacy censorship surveillance. So mainly sort of censorship and uh, privacy. On Wednesday, I believe at 7 p.m. My time. Okay. How long have you been live? Oh, I've been live for an hour fifteen. Okay, cool. Introducing internet terms to Chicho is hilarious to me, Aquilio. The kicker is I've been online since like nineteen ninety. Right? It's just the social places I don't go to because I guess my age group or whatever it is, right? Uh but I've been online. I'm online more than anyone I know. Like like really uh, but there are certain terms I just don't know Chicho societal issues uh, it's not Chicho Cheryl societal issues or perceptions also keep people from getting counseling early enough to help yeah if something isn't working and you either can't find a way to talk out talk about it or just don't communicate well get help get help Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Case of simp, anyway. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Punisher Max, I hate to admit this. I was with my ex for five years. We mutually broke up. Then two weeks later, she's dating someone else. It hurts like hell. Yeah. I, I know people that do that. They jump from one relationship to another. Uh, Punisher, I would feel sorry for her because that would my that would be my take i feel sorry for people who jump from one relationship to another relationship because if they live their life that way that means they will never know who they are right they will never know who they are if people don't spend time alone how are you going to know who you are right that's 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 huge so i'm pretty sure i like punisher i know it hurts right but look at it from a different angle, right? Feel pity for her. And maybe the relationship was over between you guys for a couple of years beforehand, and she just wanted to, you know, bounce out of that, right? Maybe for you too. Go find yourself a nice squeeze, right? I can't speak about my experience in sex here. But I have tried the serfdom model. Serfdom model. Oh. I think I know what you mean. The other side of the dump. Squish. If you respect the person and you mutually agree they want to be dominated and you want to dominate them, that's fine. If you see them as a deficient because they want to be submissive that's going to be a toxic relationship could be a toxic relationship but uh, doms and subs they don't it doesn't have to be a toxic relationship it really doesn't uh, it could be a very powerful relationship right mm. 
most Madre's definition of I missed it. Naked Gimp Padre. I like that definition. Naked Gimp. Where what is Padre's thing? Padre. Simp equals gimp with no suit. Ah. Oh wait a second. Oh yeah yeah. Okay. This is my first time watching your stream. This is great discussion. I look forward to more of your streams. Petite femme. Femme alive. I'm glad you found us. And yeah, we have really fun discussions here. Sometimes pretty intense, sometimes nice and chill. Uh, we go all over the place. We do comic book readings. We do mathematics. We do mathematics. We do cooking. We eat, do eating. That man. I'll have to tune into that uh, stream on Wednesday. I've been wanting to get your opinion on some censorship questions I have for sure. Censorship is huge right now, gang. One of the most important things that we should be talking about. Olive Chicho, I'd love to see the next stream. It will be 4 a.m. for me though. I'll try to drop by regardless. Interesting topic, yeah. It was uh, requested of us. And I'll have that video up on BitChute for sure. And uh, most likely on YouTube because it needs to be on YouTube because YouTube's censoring like mad, right? So we'll see. We'll see. Proof Defender. Your previous point was finding a new partner is difficult. Then you said the cost of a breakup is too much. I would have to say finding a new partner is part of that breakup cost. Indeed, I agree, uh, Defender, right? Finding someone else that you can care about is can be very difficult, uh, but very important to find things that you love about someone else, right? That aren't the same as the person you broke up with, right? So don't do a replacement of, you know, if, if you like the way they giggled, you're trying to find someone that you're gonna like their giggles right don't look for those specific traits look for things that is genuine to them to that new person that you're looking for <laughs> elder god oh chicho i will get get an urban dictionary together on discord okay thanks brother Coolio, Chicho, Lava, Love. Some of this talk has got me thinking maybe we uh, can have a bit shoot exclusive sex stream. Oh my God. We could. But I think I have to read Elder God's dictionary first. <laughs> Coolio, definitely being sarcastic unless it's something you think you could stream on for a couple of hours. Uh, uh, depends. We could. Uh, uh, I have friends that are sex therapists and stuff like that. So. Uh, unfortunately one of them w w was actually um not last year the, 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 two years ago they flew over from the other side of canada here and they had a a conference here not a con well, a workshop here sex therapy and they did a whole bunch of sex therapy workshops and we'd sit down and talk about it and stuff like that uh and she's a therapist uh and i mentioned to her that uh, a couple of years ago when they were here if she would be into doing a live stream discussion and she was uh maybe we could do it online actually um let that uh, let me think about that for a second uh for a little bit of time coolio it i'll get in touch with them again i'm gonna talk to them for a few months and maybe suggest it and see if they would be open to doing a live stream discussion uh with her regarding sex therapy and uh she's an rmt massage therapist that specializes in releasing sexual energy uh and i learned from her just sitting there talking i haven't taken her workshop but uh it would be cool and that i would be okay with loading on youtube youtube is okay sharing certain things they're just not okay with sharing uh thoughts freedom of expression they're not okay with free speech right okay gang i'm gonna scroll down i'm going down 
Thank you very much, Elder God, for taking care of business. Punisher Max, the thing is, last time we spoke, she was kissing me and telling me she loves me and that if it's meant to be, we will get back together. Oh, yet she's dating someone else. It makes no sense to me. Uh, brother, keep your distance from her. She could be just a user. I don't know who she is. I'm, I don't want to. Uh, she could also be very confused herself. She might not know uh, what she's doing. Uh, so she was confused herself. She she wanted you. She wanted. She didn't know. I personally would stay away from a toxic uh, relationship like that. You don't need to put yourself through that, right? Or allow someone else to make you feel that way. G4F. So I so I just messaged my ex. It gnaws on me why she called weeks later. Well, because you didn't call her back for a month. She called you, but you didn't call her back after, until a month later. Um, you can't uh, hold it against her, brother. Isn't that famous Dr. Ruth from Canada? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I used to listen to the Dr. Ruth. Not, is it Dr. Ruth? I think so. The radio thing every now and then, the talk show she had way way back in the day petite femme life after the breakup i list uh realized after crying the logic of why break heartbreak causes sadness it's not love to the other person it's the feeling of loss of comp uh, compensation revenge telling my ex i have a new guy aka my simp cured the heartbreak immediately it was amazing it made him jealous it was my it was my first relationship oh, always your first relationship okay uh yeah in general i don't think it's a good i i wouldn't uh say i'm okay with making uh to make yourself feel better you have to make other people feel bad but sometimes that is the situation right so but it is your first relationship so that's understandable okay um but don't make it a habit of i was oh you were abused and yeah <laughs> lay it on <laughs> right <laughs> but that is on you as well by the way right if the relationship stayed long time and you justified staying with the person because you liked it that they cooked for you and whatnot but yeah if they didn't treat you well <laughs> you can you can do what you want <laughs> exactly bipster sorry if i if my message uh message are late but i think getting hurt and dealing with it makes you stronger indeed and there are three types of relationships that i see family friendly and love i think the most painful thing you can get hurt by is a relationship um, is about family i told you about my biggest pain long time ago that my father um, father do alzheimer's there are more but i'll keep that one yeah uh bitzer uh, family yes uh, but love can hurt as well friendship can hurt as well i know people who in my life who were extremely distant with their family and they didn't really associate with their family and they consider their friends to be family more than anything. So, you know, they, the friendship crossed over to the realm of family. So it suits your definition as well, right? Um, but, you know, there's a saying that says we don't choose family. We, we choose our friends. So families are the burdens that we come into this world with. We have to deal with it and all that jazz. And one other thing I would add in the, the types of, uh, relationships you have I would also include uh, work relationships work relationships are important because they're they're not friends they they could be friendly but they're work related right you keep them at a distance right this is only about work right and that uh, that also could include 
relationships that you have that are specifically genre based, right? Petite, petite femme. I put a lot of effort being caring karma to him. Okay. I hope my simp is rich and can provide, provide not about super attractive compared to my ex. <laughs> so you're going with the opposite of your ex. That's okay. Go with extremes. Things are rarely completely one sided. Things are rarely completely one sided, and usually they're not. Okay. Usually they're not. Elder God, my father has revealed himself as a vaccine supporter. Oh no, I need a replacement immediately. Well, if he gets the vaccine, you might need a replacement immediately. Right? Hate to say it. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Bitstorm, not massively keen on the language simp, to be honest, especially uh, within Twitch context. I feel it just fuels negative perception stereotypes about female streamers uh, and the value of their content yeah for me i still can't associate with it. i'm i'm associating simp with a with a uh, sub dom relationship that's the way i'm associating to it i don't know i don't know if that's true or not but for those of you who've been here you know i associate words uh not exactly as their true definition so uh maybe i'll have to explore this more i don't know uh it's not really something that is pulling me towards <laughs> towards it punisher max okay chicho that is the best thing i could do to move on and for, forget about this person who hurt me yeah and it's not about the hurt uh because they can hurt you it's about the lie right like someone can hurt you unintentionally and it's painful sure but this person I, i'm going to use a word here now um don't take it too hard right but this person played you for me i've had people in my life that have played me once i realize they played me they're done like they're done and I make sure I let all my friends know that I'm done with them. Like, they're garbage to me, right? So I don't know if that's your situation. But if someone's played you, gang, cut your ties with them. G4F. And take my advice with a grain of salt, of course, right? The reason I don't call back, the only reason I didn't call back was to process the breakup and we kept getting into fights not because i like uh to but because she has uh, bpd uh and narcissistic trait we agreed not to talk anymore so when she called i was afraid of getting into a fight again our relationship was hectic okay but you didn't call back for a month right now you're saying she hasn't called you back for a month so you want to know why mm, tit for tat maybe all right tit for tat maybe it doesn't look like it's a good relationship i, I don't know g4f but you just want to know and know this uh g4f sometimes we won't know we won't know why a person broke up we won't know why a person did this we won't know you have to be okay with not knowing especially if you're going to let go of that relationship but don't let it eat you from the inside okay i do think simple is used as a uh, pejorative more so than sub simple equals simp sorry oh that's what it is simple means simp oh okay now i'm getting a better definition of it it's okay uh like uh, in my day or the terminology i know you call them bimbos right mambo bimbo uh girl some people just dated someone uh maybe a man or a woman doesn't make a difference i've i've had girlfriends that or friends that were female that dated men not because of their 
intellectual dominance or their brains they dated them because of their physical attraction it was just about the sex and i've known guys that have done the same thing with girls and i've i've had friends that were in the lgbtq community that they they had partners that was it was just about the sex it wasn't about intellectual uh stimulation right coolio feel free to question the validity of covid vaccines uh, rushed covid vaccines but please don't become a blanket accident well we'll leave that alone because youtube might kill us oh i didn't mean uh, the sub dom my simp literally treats me like a goddess i am not uh sadistic he likes the name oh yeah i was played by max okay yeah being played by a partner no that should leave a really bad taste in your mouth right and if someone treats you phenomenal more power to you awesome right by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh i'm sorry if i'm not noticing them i'm trying to stay up with the chat and uh positive have you heard of someone being a karen yeah 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 i feel like these memes are meant to divide and conquer yeah in large part yeah padre for sure but I'd, you know i know people that don't like the word karen some people are okay with it for me i it like i have friends that are their names are karen i'm pretty sure they're not okay with it but i can see where they come from but yeah uh central power is trying to divide right divide us don't let them don't let them that's fine i'm just pointing out i do think is used derog derogatorily a lot at the time for sure if someone has proven to be maliciously manipulative don't give them a second chance sociopaths are real sociopaths are real all right elder god slang a man who foolishly overvalues and defers to a woman putting her on a pedestal quotation slang by extension someone who foolishly overvalues someone else and defers to them putting them on a pedestal yeah i, I don't know if that's uh, to me that's not derogatory i think uh, what do you call it uh, that could be a real relationship and could be something that both people need and that's okay to me 100 uh, percent, right i agree with you 100 percent, chicho thanks for being real with me for sure punisher max um i i wouldn't give them time of day to tell you the truth right like i wouldn't it hurts maybe i would want to but i would really refrain from it padre when you think of an of another person a simp or a karen or whatever you're dehumanizing them to a certain extent i may be looking too much into it uh that's just what i uh what i see though uh but the kicker is uh petite femme says he loves being called a simp right who, who are we to say uh that word is derogatory to them they love it i'm okay with it there's a spectrum of simp as petite says <laughs> but then again like chicho says got to call a spade a spade sometimes this is the money stream sex ad from chicho <laughs> flirty i don't know if sex ad is just talking about relationships right all of spaosexual plural space sexuals a person who is sexually attracted to a person's intellect or mind before appearance oh is that what it's called spaosexual cool and i think i think that is 100 percent okay and there it exists for real right it's a trait that you find extremely attractive more power to you right grow a forest people cling to trendy rhetorics simp karen lit hella now you guys got to tell me what lit and hella are <laughs> what about a vimp a vampire a new urban dictionary word for a vaccine supporter <laughs> hilarious 
<laughs> you can call me Karen. I shop at Costco and drive a minivan with my five hyperactive kids. Oh my god, you got five hyperactive kids. <laughs> the, uh, petite femme life, more power to you. You found someone that treats you like a prince, like a princess, like a goddess? Hell yeah, right on. I'm super happy for you now. Damn right. <laughs> fantastic make sure he gives you foot massages and rubs your shoulders and gives you like little temp temple rubs and brings you delicious food i need a beer now <laughs> God says. yeah he literally called me that as as well princess sorcery works yo sorcery works yo I want a beer now. <laughs> Five. Where is my liqueur, man? <laughs> Squish. Sim can function as a uh, nut premise insult, like just like Vim, where you are uh, skipping over the assumption that vaccines are bad or that deferring to women is bad. Uh, you assume everyone believes that and then use it as a uh, yeah any word can be used as an insult right i did a honey jar spell you did a honey jar spell i like honey <laughs> awesome 69 viewers it's the nice number do we have 69 viewers right on <laughs> for an open discussion on relationship that is seriously focused on sex <laughs> what's your opinion of uh, covid vaccine i wouldn't be lining up to take it no they, they'll have to knock down my door hold me down uh, and it's going to take a few of them to hold me down to give me a jab i would not be taking putting any chemical in my body that is rushed to this degree why olive because i do not fear covid first of all okay uh it is a virus if it is a virus or it could be a whatever okay we're talking about covid we're trying to make sure we load this on youtube so all of uh because i okay let me let me rephrase it because the data is problematic okay i do not believe the central the information coming from centralized power not all of it and not neither the information that is dismissing all of it right I'm on the sidelines. I wanna. I, I'm an, I'm a scientist, right? Or let's let's call me a scientist. So I studied science and I did geophysics for ten years, right? And I love data, right? I approach things from the realm of mathematics. For me, we haven't had enough time played out with whatever is going on, right? For us to make a decision of what it really is there's a lot of unknowns in this and someone from a sort of a mathematic scientific perspective i think rushing into things creates way more damage than sitting there waiting to make sure we have enough data and information to figure out what's going on and i don't trust the pharma companies they're evil Ah, Cheryl says, ah, foot massage. Guys, without a shadow of a doubt, foot massages are the key to many, many things. Many, many things. <laughs> Temptress witch that controls them. Whoa, Coolio says. <laughs> Supreme leader of Twitch. Are you an anti-maxer? A masker. Uh, I, I, right now, they passed a mandate uh, in my part. Of, I went to the bakery and I didn't have a mask. And the night before, the government said, everybody that walks into stores now, indoors, you have to have a mask. So I went in there to get my bread, and the girl working behind the counter, and she was wearing a mask, everyone was wearing a mask, said, oh, sir, you have to wear a mask. And she knew, she knows me. Uh, and I was like, oh, because I hadn't heard about it, the mandate. And the owner of the place knows me. It's the bakery that I've been, been going to for a lot of years, right? And he loves me. <laughs> right and i love him <laughs> it's a very important relationship that you should have between yourself and your baker you should love each other right 
important relationship advice. He loves me. And he goes, turns to the girl and says, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Serve him, serve him. So I told her what I wanted. And I said, wow, I guess I can't go to my second uh, place I needed to go. And he goes, I got a mask for you. He brought over a mask, gave me a mask. <laughs> a good relationship can give you a lot. If people don't believe in vaccines, please don't cough on me at the shop. Yeah. Don't cough on anyone ever, right? Not a good idea. You want a proper uh, uh, trial. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I, 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 this is, we need, science doesn't work. Oh, based on economics, right? Politics, fear, science based on works out with time. You need, you, you need to run an experiment for a certain amount of time before you get the results. It's just the way it is, right? Are separate issues. But I'll just leave this, yeah, politics on politics. Unless you have a personal relationship with a COVID-19. So if you have to show proof, of, okay, I'm going to skip, I'm going to skip all the uh, COVID talk gang. Hi, this girl started messaging me a few uh, do dig dig diggery do dig dig diggery didgeridoo didgeridoo hi this girl started messaging me a few weeks ago but then randomly stopped replying it's been three weeks should i message her again uh, were you were you has she replied to your messages if she was messaging you and you were replying and then you guys stopped texting and you want to know what's going on then yeah message her but if you've been texting her in that three weeks constantly saying what's going on stop texting her she's not replying and you move on right i remember 1976 vaccine disaster and the 2009 dead children in sweden from the safe okay i'm skipping over these vaccine talks gang love your love your baker where can i buy the t-shirt <laughs> squish <laughs> What is the ethnic background? Um, ethnic, uh, Armenian, Iranian, Canadian. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Guru Forest, interesting how new, va okay, vaccine, I'm, I'm skipping, I'm skipping, I'm skipping. I'm all the way down to the bottom, gang. I'm all the way down to the bottom. Didgeridoo is an instrument. I actually play it as a kid in school. Awesome, awesome. Who's Assange? Oh, who's Assange? Julian Assange is a person, journalist and publisher, that created a website called WikiLeaks, where whistleblowers could release information and we, the public, could read that information and try to hold power accountable. Julian Assange is a person is a publisher that created WikiLeaks for all of humanity so that we could have transparency of power so that we could hold power accountable. Right now, that power is trying to crucify and they are crucifying Julian Assange. I highly recommend that you look into who Julian Assange is and we do have a playlist on YouTube that goes over some of the documents that WikiLeaks has released to benefit humanity. Very important. Chicho, all this talk of baking. I need a cake. Oh, I need a cake too, Elder God. I need a cake too. WikiLeaks founder Coolio says, who currently wrongfully imprisoned in UK prison, that have been living under a rock. Um, petite fem, uh, fem life? Yes, it is your duty. And because you seem like a seriously intelligent human being, and I love you, uh, it is your duty to find out who Julian Assange is and what is being done to him in our name. Very important. All this that Supreme Leader of Twitch. I've been 
I've never been in a relationship and I'm 23, yet I feel like I don't really need a relationship right now. Why is there such a stigma in society against single people? Give me your answer, oh wise bearded man. Supreme leader of Twitch, society sucks in that respect. For me, my longest relationship all the way into my mid late 20s my longest relationship to my late 20s or, or, or mid 20s was like a month and a half right i don't agree with people saying oh you have to be with someone for a long period of time da, 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 da. oh how come you're not in a relationship no man single life rocks enjoy it right all those people to get hooked up with someone else for an extended period of time for like i've met people and i knew people that in high school they were in a girlfriend boyfriend relationship for like three years in high school oh my god what a stupid thing to do right during the time when they're going through puberty when they're trying they should be trying to find themselves figure out who they are they're hooked together with someone else not only that some of those people that came out of high school they got married right away right sure sometimes it works really sometimes your first love is your true love sometimes your childhood love is your true love but man i've known people that have never been single in their lives right right out of high school in a relationship for 20 years and then after you see them uh, 20 years later they're like <laughs> they don't know who they are what they are what they're supposed to do how to think they they just don't know gang spend some time alone find out who you are okay don't jump from one relationship to another relationship i'm scrolling down gang whoa guy chicho cheech these puto hopes <laughs> anti don't understand economic hopes mira simple para antifas stupidos as a <laughs> because you know as a antifa got to got to prison and they join a gang and they become this is what you posted last time uh ironic homes just like the polar bear and the bgs bgs rocks man don't trash the bgs vgas i don't know what the bgs are man spend some time alone find out who you are indeed i needed that advice 20 years ago yeah a lot of people man I've, I'm sorry it's coming to you a little late, Squish. But it's never too late, right? Supreme leader of Twitch. I definitely agree with that. I enjoy being single as well because you have a lot of room to explore and learn. Indeed. Like, I've known people, right? Like, there's a party going on. And I'm going to the party. I turn to my friend. Hey, you guys coming? Oh, I got to check with my girlfriend. What? <laughs> Oh, I got to check with my boyfriend. What? This is a once in a lifetime party. Let's go. Let's go. They're like, oh, oh no, they're not up to it. They got a headache. They don't feel good. I'm like, oh, man, get a life. Right. I, I met a, I knew a couple in university. Check this out. Right. So I go to their, 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 their when I was studying geophysics, these this group, they were living together. Right. So I was the sort of outsider. So I went to their their house and this this one guy there living there was a friend of mine i knew everyone else from the same program we're in right so we we talked and a couple of us the three of us me and a couple of guys we're about to go out and do something we're going to go play pool or something like this right so one of the guys comes down and he had a girlfriend right and his girlfriend was there they were living together in the house and i said hey i forget his name i'm not going to say his name i said hey listen we're going to go play pool won't you come and uh, shoot pool with us and he goes no 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 i can't i go oh how come uh, he goes oh i gotta go do laundry i go oh you gotta go do laundry he, uh, he goes yeah yeah me and my girlfriend are gonna go do laundry i go well why don't you come and play pool with us and let her go do laundry uh, she goes no no we want to do it together i go oh you like doing laundry he goes no no we both hate it i'm like what i go you both hate doing laundry so why don't you come with us and she can do the laundry you have a great time she doesn't you know you both hate it so 
she won't have a good time. But then next time, she can go do something she loves, and you can do the laundry. She goes, no, 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 that's not the way we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Walked away. Back up slowly. Back up slowly. Right. Crazy. Forest. Yes, been alone now for 50 years and couldn't be happier. Right on, right on. Felix Chicho, do you play chess? Uh, I have in the past a lot. I actually brought it out. Me and my partner are going to start playing. I got a teacher. Uh, really gotten into it recently after watching the Queen Gambit. Ah, oh, Queen's Gambit. Dude, I'm three episodes away from finishing it. What a fantastic series. Really loving it. Fiction completely, but fantastic. And the moves, my partner watched it uh, when I wasn't around right and then she's told me she watched it i was like oh we were gonna watch it together she goes i'll watch it again it was that good so when we were watching it when they were doing certain moves i was like oh and she she, she would ask me she goes oh chicho do you know what they did i go yeah 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 i go do you want me to explain to you what it, what just happened she goes yeah 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 so i would pause the video bring it back and i would show the board where show the board and then I told her what was going on she was like oh cool cool and she's super excited to play so i'm going to teach her chess uh gammon on netflix and i found that i'm pretty good at it and i'm having a lot of fun awesome felix fantastic chess is fantastic chicho you got to watch blood and blood out dude i've seen it i told you that yesterday orale 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 keep it keep it to barrio ese Keep it in the body, I say. <laughs> How to get a woman? Be a simp to a woman who was chewed and spat out by a chat. Yeah. Olive. I've never been in a relationship. Now I'm sort of in the beginnings of one. However, although I do like him, it's more platonic for me. I, he wants something more, though. What do I do, uh, do about that? Don't want to lose him as a friend. Uh just tell them look you're not ready to go there you want to be friends and hang out and you hope that's okay with them okay olive don't be forced into anything really don't be forced into anything take your time uh and petite femme life says it a little more harshly uh olive don't open your legs wait a while until you know them do a background check. <laughs> but these fam, uh, I I like you. I like you. Laundry together. GF four says. Straight up, straight up. That that buddy. I know a couple like that. It's a gun. Cult. No worries there. Keep it to the boy. Okay, gang, I'm scrolling down. Sorry if I missed stuff. Oh, we're almost at the two hours. We got to call the stream. Pooper scooper. I'm really loving this. Uh, but great, great conversation, gang. Great conversation. Uh, good idea. What did Olive say? Uh, Cheryl, for, for, for now, it's a maybe. He knows. I've told him. Awesome, Olive. You know where, where it's at. Take your time go slow take your time go slow in my time we call this a pussy. ah that's elder god i'm not gonna say that word but if I, i'm associating simp with a better terminology than that uh, god i missed the old old insult. but what you just said man <laughs> that's the term i know and i know i know that term in farsi as well in persian uh in persian what you said i'll tell you what all uh, <laughs> i can't say it <laughs> i won't say it i won't say it but i know it in two different languages so now i have a really good definition of what a, of what a simp is but i don't associate it with that felix about 10 minutes ago my chest rating passed 1000 i've only been playing for a week so I'm pretty happy about it. Awesome, Felix. Awesome. Gang, thank you for being here. Great stream. Great conversation. What a fantastic way to start the day in my part of the world anyway. 
we will be doing a live stream on Wednesday on censorship and privacy 10 p.m. PDT my time if you want to drop in to see what this is all about okay aside from that I'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about it's all layered on mathematics you can check out patreon I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike when the technocrats and centralized power does not want us to share information it is our duty to share as much information as possible and check out julian assange gang if you don't know who julian assange is okay and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for your support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat which is where you want to be at and gang thank you for dropping in thank you for the conversation thank you for the subs thank you for the follows mods thank you for taking care of business and thank you for being here gang okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and all the links will be in the description of the video and you can come to twitch anytime if we're live streaming or not and put an exclamation mark social and you'll see all our social links and we do have a discord page where a lot of people have joined in and uh, they're discussing sharing information giving advice uh, sharing their art sharing their music sharing information and you're definitely welcome to drop by there we will be uploading the audio for this discussion on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chy cho as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to both bit and youtube and you can support this work on those platforms by liking sharing uh, subscribing following commenting and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership there's a button there and for those of you who've joined youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang have a good day everyone thanks for stopping by new people and regulars alike coolio said says indeed indeed and thank you for the conversations and the love nice seeing you again olive bye everyone have a fantastic day and we'll talk on wednesday if you can make it